Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have something absolutely paramount to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it around because what I'm about to go over is so vitally important. All right, so let's get straight into this. I'm going to launch up Safari and also bring over this iPhone, which is inside of Settings General, followed by Software Update, and you'll notice that we do have an available update for iOS 9.3.5. That's right, as of this morning, Apple released 9.3.5 to the general public, a firmware that none of us were expecting. iOS 9.3.4 was thought to be the last iOS 9 release before Apple moves on to iOS 10 next month, again likely in the second week of September. So as for the description of 9.3.5, it reads as follows, quote, iOS 9.3.5 provides an important security update for your iPhone or iPad and is recommended for all users. Now, of course, whenever Apple says that an important security update, they never really mean it. Of course, it is to thwart jailbreakers. However, iOS 9.3.4, of course, closed the Pangu jailbreak, and that was released a while ago. See, iOS 9.3.4, according to Apple's security release notes, only addresses one thing, and that's the main exploit utilized by Pangu. As you can see here, this is Pangu's kernel exploit, dubbed CVE 2016-4654, and it is accredited to the Pangu team right there. However, when we hop on over to the corresponding page for iOS 9.3.5, which of course is linked to inside of the OTA update for the firmware, it it actually lists three different bugs, none of which are credited to Pangu, of course, because these weren't used in the Pangu jailbreak. We have two vulnerabilities affecting the kernel right here, and then of course one WebKit bug. Now some of you may recall prior to the iOS 9.3.x jailbreak from Pangu, Luca Tedesco released a video demonstration of himself utilizing a jailbreak he created centered around a WebKit exploit. So these are definitely some powerful vulnerabilities, guys. Heck, these kernel vulnerabilities could have possibly been used to create a jailbreak, and these fixes could possibly be attributed to Apple's recent bug bounties. As you can see here, they are all accredited to the exact same team, Citizen Lab. So maybe these guys got paid by Apple to actually disclose these vulnerabilities, in which case that kind of sucks, right? I mean, Apple is trying to make iOS 9.3.x as secure as possible, whether the last version is this one, iOS 9.3.5, or a subsequent release, because a lot of 32-bit devices are going to be phased out at the end of iOS 9 and of course will not receive iOS 10. So it makes sense that Apple wants to ensure the last release of iOS 9 is secure. Now whether you should update to this brand new firmware really boils down to whether you're interested in jailbreaking or not. Of course if you are, I recommend avoiding iOS 9.3.5 especially if you're already jailbroken because just like with its predecessor, if you update to 9.3.5 you will be locked out of jailbreaking. Now, if you're on 9.3.4 already, upgrading will definitely make your device more secure, especially with this WebKit vulnerability, which is now made public. It could be used for malicious purposes. So in that case, you should probably upgrade. However, of course, the possibility of a new 9.3.4 jailbreak does exist, although it is very slim. I'm going to talk about it in just a second. I always recommend staying on as low of a firmware as possible. So if you're locked out of jailbreaking on 9.3.4 and you want a jailbreak, maybe you should stay on 9.3.4 for now. Just as always, exercise extreme caution. And don't download or install or sideload anything that you're not 100% certain of. Now, of course, Apple is no longer signing iOS 9.3.3. They stopped signing it yesterday, immediately following the release of a video that I created discussing 9.3.3 and a possible iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak. So when we hop on over to IPSW.me, you'll notice the only two firmwares that are being signed are two that close the jailbreak. Of course, iOS 9.3.4 being the first and now 9.3.5, today's even more secure release. So as far as jailbreaking goes, definitely don't expect anything for iOS 9.3.4 or 9.3.5. Again, even if a jailbreak were to be released publicly for another iOS 9 version, Apple would just hastily release another security update to patch that jailbreak. Because again, they need the last version of iOS 9 to stay secure. And that actually brings up yesterday's video, of course, a demonstration of an alleged iOS 9.3.5 
9.3.4 jailbreak. Now it's unclear whether the exploit utilized in this video was one of the ones patched by iOS 9.3.5, but again, as I stated in this video, a release is unlikely. However, there is another interesting takeaway. For you 32-bit device owners, definitely stay on iOS 9.3.3 or lower if at all possible because there may be a jailbreak solution in the works. Again, that is detailed in yesterday's video. I will have it linked for you guys down below in the description. So as for the summary for today's video, definitely avoid both iOS 9.3.4 and 9.3.5 because Apple is no longer signing a jailbreakable firmware. Again, we have 9.3.5 today, which further tightens the security of iOS 9.3.x, and we almost definitely will not get another public iOS 9 jailbreak. Instead, we should turn our attention toward iOS 10, which again is going to be released in less than a month, probably within the second week of September. Now, for those of you who are planning on purchasing new devices soon, the chances of them being on iOS 9.3.3 or lower, i.e. a jailbreakable firmware, are incredibly high because in order for new devices to actually arrive or come in the box with iOS 9.3.4 or 9.3.5, stores actually have to completely exhaust their inventory, meaning they have to sell out and replenish because, of course, Apple cannot push an update to device that are sealed inside of a box. That's just impossible. So what they have to do is actually completely sell out and order new stock. And of course, if you go to another retailer that's not an official Apple store, the chances of it being on a jailbreakable firmware are definitely higher. And in fact, for the next few weeks, you can almost be certain that it will be jailbreakable. So that basically wraps up today's video. And that's what's new inside of iOS 9.3.5. Again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name and then just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. I'm going to keep you guys completely notified from everything ranging from yesterday's over sky iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak demonstrational video to today's new iOS 9.3.5 release, the upcoming iOS 10 firmware, possible new jailbreaks related to that, and of course any developments related to 32-bit jailbreaks. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.